Hey guys, Twiggly Frog back again, and uh, today we're going to be building ourselves an automated storage system for vanilla. Um, this will also work in modded, but with modded, the storage options you have are more advanced than this, so unless you really want to build it, I wouldn't suggest it. Um, this is only going to work on PC because, let's face it, the console systems just haven't caught up to where we're at in PC, and you're going to need comparators and hoppers to build this. Um, so you just can't do it. There really is, and I've researched, I can't find, I've tried to build on my Xbox 360, but I just can't seem to figure out how to do a f basically fully automated one. Um, there are ways to do ones that are semi-automated, that kind of things, but, you know, you pretty much want it fully automated, otherwise you might as well just stick the stuff in the chest yourself. So, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and by the way, this was a subscriber requested. The gentleman who requested his name is Alex Esparza. So, Alex, thanks for the request, and here we go. All right, so this is actually, believe it or not, it's a pretty simple build. Uh -huh. So we go like this. Oops. You break those out. You do not need them. So this is your basic platform right here. Um, on the front here, you're going to want to place a redstone torch. Then facing towards that redstone torch, you're going to want to place a repeater. And up here, you're going to want to do dust and dust. Then you're going to face this way and place your comparator. Now, you want your comparator in its default setting. You do not want it like that. You want it off, basically. Now, if you do it in the non-default setting, it just is not going to work. So, we're going to put a block here. Now, this block is not necessity. It is basically just to be able to place our chest on. Oops. And there's the storage chest. First thing you're going to do is hold down shift, place a hopper facing into that chest, and then come up here, stand on top of the chest, that's the easiest way, ah, wrong way, hold down shift right here on the side of the comparator, hopper facing in to the comparator. Okay, now what you're going to want to do here is this is actually going to be the chest yeah, that you feed your items into right here. Nope, nope, sorry, I screwed that up. So let's put a block here. Oops. Shift, ah, come on, a little higher, shift, block there. Now we're going to build some blocks. Now these are basically just blocks to place our hoppers into. You'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. So you place the hopper facing that way. This is the way our storage system is going to run. It's going to run this way. Now you could have faced the chest that way and ran it that way. It does not matter. So basically these blocks are just so we can place the hoppers facing in the right direction. And we're going to go out to 5. That should be good for now, just for a simple build. You can build this 1, 5, 10, 20,000. It doesn't matter. You can build it as big as you want. You can turn it just by simply turning the hoppers, running them down, and rebuilding this somewhere else. It is super, super simple. So let's go ahead and build ourselves another little cell here. All right. We're going to do that. And it doesn't matter that these dust uh, connect. They will not interfere with each other. All right, and oops. So what are we going to do here? So you can do the chest side by side. We're going to put a trap chest in. Now these can be double chests if you want them to. Doesn't matter. Go up here. Hopper there. Okay, what I'm going to do is now that you see me build two, I'm going to build the other three, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. As you can see, I have basically just repeated what we did on the first two three more down this way setting up just a simple little system now what you're going to want to do is come over here um, I have grabbed five different kinds of wool and went ahead and cleared out my system on this hopper right here the second one down this is the one that faces into the comparator okay so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place 22 blocks in here but there's a way you're going to want to replace place them in you're going to want to do 18 there, and then 1, 2, 3, whoops, and 4. Now, once this, this is 22 blocks, once this hits 23, it will send a signal to the comparator, which will send a signal down the redstone, into the hopper shutting off, or into the, uh, not the hopper, into the, to the repeater shutting off that torch. What the heck? It's crazy lag effectively turning this hopper on, sending the stuff through here, into here, and into this chest. Now the great thing is, is the way this hopper works, 
is it can only take orange wool. It can't take anything else because these slots are all filled. As soon as it depletes the 23rd one, it will shut off. And of course, since hoppers always pull from right to left, this is the setup you want. So let's go ahead and do that on these. Uh -uh. And then, yeah. And then here, 18 and 4. Here, 18 and 4. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, sometimes this thing seems to gl ah, I put him in the wrong one. I put him in the top hopper. So this stuff is going to end up somewhere. There it is. <laughs> Give me that back. Eighteen. How do we get nine? I don't know. Oh, because I grabbed that five too. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, put them in the right hopper. It really helps. Eighteen. Okay, did I face that hopper the wrong way? What is going on with that hopper? Oh, uh, that's the problem. See, guys, this is why you should always check your redstone wiring above four. This is actually a good lesson to learn. So I'm kind of glad I forgot to do that. So I'll grab those again. Now these hoppers are now effectively shut off. Remember, like I said, always go through your build. Double check your wiring. It doesn't matter if you built it a hundred times. It's extremely easy to miss something. So, lesson learned. <laughs> Uh, there we go. So that's it. So now basically this can be flush on the ground. It doesn't matter however you want to do it. Um, let's start off with the orange ones and it's, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to throw in. Now you'll see what happens here. There you go. Now it's feeding those and those and now this one. Okay, now you're only going to see four in here. The reason is because once this thing loses number 23, it shuts off the signal, which usually causes one to catch in here. No big deal. It's not going to mess anything up. So you should see four in every single one of these of the colors we set up. Brown, green, and red. And it doesn't matter how you stick them in here. It's just going to grab them gonna do its thing it's filling up the red it's already filled the green I'm sure yep there's the green and like I said you're always gonna have one left over in here it's just part of the way the system works so I mean and that's it guys you can expand this out as far as you want um, because a comparator will only send a block a signal two it goes one two it does not interfere with these so that's why it works out this way that is about the most compact one you're gonna see um, like I said, you can turn it, build it however you want, whichever directions you want. This thing is not directional like a lot of them are. Um, you can build it facing north, south, east, or west. It does not matter. Um, so that's it. Alex, I hope this is helpful. Um, let me know if you want to see anything else, guys. As always, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and share this with your friends. And as always, God bless.